All right, I'm going to show you what my problem is here in the garden. I put in this weed fabric, okay, um, to avoid the weeds because this is what happened to me the first year when I started planting. Putting the weed fabric helps a lot because I know that that's what it is. But in these areas like this, where it's not growing, when I lift up the fabric, okay, so here, I know that these are plants because these are different. Here, some of these are different than like, this is grass, okay? So I know how to differentiate, but look at this. Look, this is under my weed fabric, okay? This is why I put in the weed fabric because I wanted you know, when this stuff starts coming up, you don't know what it is. You don't know if it's a weed. You don't know if it's a pepper plant. You don't know anything. So that's what happened to me the first year when I planted. I just didn't have a weed fabric and I planted everything here and this happened and I was like, oh my gosh, so I had to wait till the plants were big enough so that I can weed. And by then it was just such a huge job and they were taking over my plants. So we wanna to try to get them healthy in the beginning. And I have to start fertilizing here. And I don't wanna fertilize weeds because then they're also gonna get bigger and bolder. So I don't have a problem over there where there's a lot of shade. Um, so this is, this is not working for me. And I tried it this year, but this weed fabric is like that. So what I do is I just go back and I just lay the weed fabric back and then I know pretty much wherever the holes are I'll look at the plants like these um, look different and this one looks different and sometimes you might plant a seed there but the water might have made it run a little bit see what I should have done is put a marker on every single hole that I planted and that was my mistake because I didn't have enough markers so if I would have marked then I would have definitely known where are those? So today I'm gonna mulch. So one of the ways that I'm gonna have to control this is by mulching this. So I don't wanna buy mulch because it's expensive right now. It's gonna cost me a lot of money to mulch this. So I do have a lot of leaves over by the tree area that I have. There's lots and lots of leaves over there and I'm gonna collect those today. And I'm going to really concentrate mostly on the sunny areas where most of the weeds are growing, which is this section here and this section seems to be the worst. The other section is not too bad so that's where I'm going to concentrate mostly just putting leaves on here around the plants that I already plant but I do have to get this weed situation under control because it's just massive and it takes a lot of my time and honestly it makes it really painful to get up here in the morning in this heat in this hot sun and have to sit here and just pulling weeds all day long it's just and so many too it's just it makes gardening something that I don't want to do now I have thought of doing container gardening and just maybe putting containers up here instead of actually planting on the ground but I still want to try to be successful at this so I haven't totally given up yet so that's what's going on all right it's not that I can't go to the store and buy mulch I realize that that fabric is not working for me so I was walking around here picking up some sticks yesterday and I saw all this incredible leaves from the fall that are decomposing and the soil here is amazing because all the leaves blow to the fence and they just pile up here so as you can see that's all a pile of leaves and I'm making piles all over I've got my wagon over there by the shed and I'm going to pick up all these leaves and this is going to be my mulch um, I'm trying to save some money and not have to spend so much money and really try to be as self-sustainable as I can working through the land. I don't want to have to be like an urban gardener that I go out to the store every time I need something and, you know, bring sacks and sacks and sacks of mulch that has seeds in it. Because the last time I bought mulch at, um, I think it was Ace Hardware, it had the nastiest weed seeds in there. And I got back and I spent a hard time cleaning up my flower beds that had done a good job weeding them out and now they were growing. So... I said I'm going to be sustainable and I'm going to take things that are in my garden, in my property, and I'm going to work with those things just like the pioneers just, just like the Indians did, just like the people of old did, and I'm not going to, you know, buy fake synthetic fertilizers or mulches that I don't know what's been grown in and I don't want mulches that have ink or dye in them. So that's what's happening today. I'm going to be... Working in 90 degree weather here in Florida. This stuff really should have been done in the fall, but 
um i just was not motivated in the fall this is the time of the year now i see my things growing i see things that are working i i really want to save my plants so this is when i'm mo mo motivated and i'm learning i'm learning slowly so stay tuned fabric covering it up with all of this mulch it's looking really super nice now I still got to finish over here but it's starting to good I'm gonna get the paper off of the fabric off of there we're gonna mulch all of that too with all of these leaves so this is what it's looking like I'm still putting in some mulch I've got to do some more here so I just wanted you to see so here's a cardboard that I laid in the pathway in the walkways there's cardboard all across so I've been filling it with moss from one of my trees and I still got to get more moss but eventually this is going to be filled with leaves as well my big the sycamore and the maple tree here that I have here every year drops all of these leaves right here in the garden area so that way I will just pick them up and throw them here in the walkway that'll happen in the fall so for now I just got to make sure that I maintain whatever little weeds are coming in the walkways so I don't have a lot of work to do, but I'm still working on the mulch. I've done about four loads. This is an incredible amount of leaves, and this is amazing that I'm able to do this. So here's my setup. I got my mower hitched to the wagon. I go over to the trees, like you saw in the video, and I pick all of these. Then what I do in the trash can is I start putting piles of that in the trash can, and I sift through it just to make sure that I get like these really big sticks out of it. And the big, these bigger sticks go in there, and then eventually I will compost those sticks, chop them up finer, put them in my compost, and they'll break down into soil for next year. We had a massive downpour a little while ago, but I want to go outside and show you the finished garden. I am planting seeds, and that video is coming up, so I will be adding more plants to the garden. But I want to see, I want you to see how great it's come out so far. All right, so here it is. It's all soaking wet right now because it rained but you can see my peas are growing really well so I put in this tomato cage for the peas I might have to buy a trellis of some kind um, so you'll see over there I have zucchini and watermelon over there so look how great look how many leaves I got this is so 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 great and there's lots of, I thinned out the tomato plants and I replanted the thin, the thin ones. So they're all growing over there, all that's tomato plants. And I have some herbs growing over here. They're also taking longer because this area of the garden gets some shade around the day because of this tree. So I planted lettuce over there. Now I have more things that I have to transplant into the garden. So those will be, I'll be doing that next week or the week after. And then I have more things over here growing so it turned out really well i also put in a whole bunch of dead um tree trunks that i had there for firewood which are actually rotting away so this is going to be great for the garden plus i won't get that corner anymore um you know it all this all the the water stays in here because right there that's where it pitches downwards like it pitches downward like that and then most of the water was going out that way so that's not happening anymore but i'm really excited I'm, I'm really happy i'm really confident for the fall i think it's going to be super great for the fall by the way that's where i keep my compost over there i have two compost bins i have some water and then i have my some buckets and things over there thank you so much for watching this is just an update i've been working really hard this week this is why i'm not able to do some other videos this week um, but this is just the way that it is. I'm learning right now. And as I go, I realize some things are working, some things are not working. But I'm really motivated and I'm really determined to grow in this garden. I'm also thinking seriously about getting some chickens in the future. So stay tuned. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Hey, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.